Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a full day of eating for you guys because I get a lot of questions about what I eat in a day, so I'm gonna show you guys. I am back to counting my macros because I'm taking things very seriously now. I think I'm going to compete this summer. So I wanted to make sure I was in the right mindset. So <laughs> I'm really gonna put on some weight. Um, for the rest of this month, a little bit of February, and then I'm going to probably get a coach and cut down. So anyway, here's my full day of eating. You guys will notice I eat a lot more often smaller meals. So like people are like, wow, that's not a lot of like food for a bulk. But I eat like six to seven times a day. So my meals tend to be a little bit smaller. But anyway, into my food. So I wanted to make this video informative as well as showing you guys what I eat in a full day. I first start my day off every day with taking creatine. There are a lot of myths about creatine, but honestly, I think it benefits me the most with muscle gain, gives me a nice pump, and I definitely feel like I have more energy throughout my lips. So I am counting my macros again, and this is going to be what you guys see here, my pre-workout meal. It's my breakfast, and a lot of people ask me if I spread my carbs and my protein out throughout the day, and that is a big fat yes. But I know when I'm going to work out, I do eat more carbs right before I work out. Generally, my meals right now are looking at being anywhere from 30 to 50 carbs, and I'm eating about six to seven times a day. So this meal here, I'm having an English muffin with two tablespoons of peanut butter on each side of that. And then on the side, I have a two egg white omelet with chicken, onions and spinach you guys can add any kinds of veggies that you want but those are the ones that i prefer and i also seasoned it with smokehouse maple this gives me a lot of energy to power through my workout and also i try to keep my protein a little bit lower in the mornings because it's actually one thing for me to get my protein is so easy i find it a lot harder for me to get my carbs because i tend to love things that are made out of protein powder and of course meat so this is going to be my pre-workout meal before I hit the gym. Okay, so I just ate my breakfast. I'm about to take my new pre-workout the Athena by um, Unico and it's a new flavor that I'm trying because I always use my watermelon one but this one is wait for it strawberry limeade so I'm gonna try this and let you guys know how it is for my pre-workout um, I'm hitting back and shoulders today with a friend so I won't be filming because it's like my first time lifting with them and it's just yeah it's just weird so I'm gonna have this I'm gonna have my Yamino's intro workout and then I'm training a client right afterwards so I'm bringing my lunch but I'll show you guys what I'm eating it's just chicken rice and broccoli with ketchup because I'm a bro so yeah I'm gonna hit my lift now and I'll let you guys know how the pre-workout is okay so I just finished my workout and I can just say that I highly encourage working out with other people who you think will motivate you because I literally just killed my workout because I worked out with someone who's been lifting for like four years and he kicked my butt so I'm in between um, my training session I had a Kind of rush the last bit of it because I'm training a client in like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna eat real quick and I'm showing you guys who I'm gonna eat. Oh, look, it's my Fitmark um, container. But I have four ounces of chicken, broccoli, and a cup of rice. So usually, like when I'm not bulking, I'll do like half a cup of rice, but we bulk in, so a cup is good. I brought my ketchup because I'm a freak, so I'm just gonna put ketchup on that and I don't measure my ketchup. So post-workout, it's super important for me to get um, my protein and usually I would just drink a protein shake but I really want protein waffles later and I hate having protein powder be like my main source of protein all day. So um, I'm gonna make those later when I go home in about like an hour and a half. But right now, I'm gonna eat this guys and then go train my client, so. So about an hour and a half after I lifted and trained my client, I went home and made some protein waffles out of my Unico Nutrition mix and it's just one egg, baking powder, and a scoop of protein powder with some water. And I just put that in my waffle maker. A tip for you guys is to let it cook a little bit before you close the waffle maker because that can cause a disaster if you don't. I topped it off with some peanut butter and some sugar-free maple syrup. I did not count 
the maple syrup, I just added it. But everything else I am tracking in my fitness pal. So after this, I was pretty full. I just did a little bit of online shopping and things around the house, but then I went on to have my fourth meal of the day, which is just a small snack before dinner. And for me, this is pretty small, but it held me over until dinner. And I was actually really full after this. You guys saw the video of me this morning and it's currently three o'clock and I'm four meals in and I just want to show you that this is what it looked like, literally. So I don't walk around with apps all day. When I eat just a few meals, I literally, I'm so full, but I actually have to like almost force myself to eat more because I'm trying to gain weight and I am gaining weight. So um, I don't walk around with abs all the time. So that just means my dinner, even though I'm not gonna eat it for like another hour probably, um, is gonna be a lot lighter, I think. Maybe like calorie dense, so I have a lot more fats in that meal. But I'll show you guys what I'm going to eat and I'm gonna keep studying, so. Here's dinner. Chicken. If you guys haven't tried these yet, you can get them at Walmart. They're so good. The macros are pretty bomb on them, so. And then just the mushrooms cooked in coconut oil. So I just ate my dinner, and you guys saw it was like really small for me, and I want something sweet, so I'm gonna eat one of these yeah, big bars. Um, I have preached about these. These things are so great if you just need like extra carbs. These are like my favorite and they're super sweet. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'll probably have my last meal like in a few hours from now. What's up guys? So I didn't film an outro yesterday, but it is the next day. I feel so good. Yesterday I ate around, I think 240 carbs, 70 fat, and 150 protein. So I was right on my macros. So it was super bomb. Um, I lifted legs today and I had so much energy. Like I felt so great. I was just like, whew, on my, on my game. So um, I'm really enjoying like the more carbs, eating a lot more in a surplus for myself like over 400 calories in a surplus and i'm feeling super good i had a super great pump so if you guys are wondering what i eat in a day that's what i eat this would be good for someone who's just starting off recovery trying to increase their calories um someone who's trying to bulk um depending on your body type if you're my height and weight it's gonna work for you but if you're three inches taller than me and maybe a little bit heavier than me then you're trying to still bulk then it's not going to work for you so those are the macros that worked for me yesterday. I enjoyed every meal. You guys notice I eat more often and I eat a little bit of a smaller meal. I've been trying to eat more calorie dense, so a lot more fat. But that was what I eat in a day. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. Love you so much. If you guys like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I hate asking for likes. And subscribe. Love you guys.